a resolution video. Yeah, why don't we start a cost tally too? That'll be fun. So that one camera has cost us three and a half thousand dollars. And I'm not going to get too technical here, but just to give you an idea, the best indicator of a camera's quality is its sensor size. That's why pretty much every other year, smartphone companies increase the size of their sensors by 10 to 15 percent. This camera sensor is over a thousand percent larger than that of the latest pro iPhones. Your move, Tim. Wow. <laughs> so time to put it to the test. Ah, the Apple Store London. Mine's bigger. So this is the camera app. And because the actual camera itself is locked away on the inside, what we've had to do here is to get a SIM and a very real data plan so that we can use Canon's Wi-Fi link app to have a live feed of what the camera is seeing in real time. All right, let's go. Oh, this feels good. I mean, just look at the difference in detail, the warmth of the colors, and just how cinematic our camera looks in comparison. Also, if you're curious about the video quality, I don't think I've ever looked this pretty before. And because this is an 8K resolution recording, we've absolutely smoked the Apple iPhone in terms of detail. 